Hey there, Luke here. Thank you for watching another episode of Reformed Props. Today we're gonna to be walking through the Celtic Wolf Axe. Uh, that is a template that is actually uh, for sale up on Etsy, on my Etsy, Etsy account um, as Reformed Props. And this is what we're gonna be making today. This bad boy right here. So this is something that my boys helped me make and we drew up the templates. My boys helped with the design of it. And um, in this video, we're gonna walk through every step, the whole thing, and you'll get to see it from start to finish. All right, thank you for watching. So one of the fun things uh, about this project was uh, was actually having my boys help me. So right here we're putting pins um, on the template and they're helping me stick those pins everywhere. You wanna do that uh, so that when you go and mark it, um, your template doesn't move around. And here my oldest is marking that and he did a great job. And so he uh, marked up that whole template for me and we even let the three-year-old, God bless him, uh, have a chance at it, and uh, it was pretty comical. I just showed that much of the video because he was having a tough time, and uh, so Daddy finished it up for him. And um, my five-year-old recorded this part, so his fingers are are everywhere. But anyway, so uh, you want to mark out your template on your foam. You should be able to do this entire axe on one sheet of 24 by 24 um, inch foam. And uh, so here now I'm uh, cutting out the blade side of this template. And you wanna do that at like a, a 45 degree. Um, and then the rest of the cuts are just gonna be straight uh, 90 degree um, you know, cuts, up and down cuts. Um, so you'll cut out all of your template pieces and have those ready to go. So this next part, we're actually gonna make the bar that sits uh, over the top of both blades on both sides. Um, so this is really easy. You're just gonna basically draw these two rectangles and you'll use the template um, to make the, the correct size for those. So you'll make out two of those, um, draw them out on your foam and then go ahead and cut them out. So you have those done and those are the sides of the hammer and those are all the pieces of the blade. So I goofed up and actually made two right sides of the blade. So here I am showing you, you have to do a left side of the blade. So it's a, it's a mirrored blade, if you would. So one side's inside, one side's outside. Um, so that's all I'm showing here. And you wanna make sure that you cut the opposite. Instead of a 45 out, you wanna cut a 45 degree in. Uh, on, that, on that blade, so there was a little screw up. I wanted to keep it here in the video just so you can see uh, how I fixed that. Um, I just cut another one. It was a pretty easy fix. So now we have all of our pieces cut out. Uh, I'm just showing it off right there, how it's gonna go together. And uh, my five-year-old is, is hanging out being cool. Um, so that's how all those pieces are gonna connect together. And now we're gonna start cutting out the decals. Um, for that. So um, lay those parts of the template down and trim them out um, with your uh, with your marker there, outline them and then trim them out. Um, and then you're gonna wanna take a, uh, like an artisan knife or a really skinny bladed knife um, to cut this part out. That's what I found as best practice um, for these. Uh, it's it can be a little difficult because of the complexity of all the lines on the wolf side and with all the Celtic runes uh, but having a skinny blade it, it took time but it was um, it was well worth it and it turned out pretty good So after all those pieces are cut out, uh, all your trim pieces are cut out, all the other pieces, it's time now to make the handle. So I just found this dowel in my garage. It's about an inch thick. And then I had a piece of uh, aluminum rod and my drill motor uh, right there. So um, I'm just showing off a bunch of tools. I don't even know what I'm doing. But anyway, <laughs> um, so what we need to do is mark out how this handle is gonna fit inside the ax. So pretty simple, you just set the handle down take a marker and outline it 
Uh, that way you know exactly where that handle is going to be, and then you're going to take your knife and cut that piece out. Um, don't worry about cutting all the way through because it's going to be covered up uh, by those bar pieces that you cut out earlier. So um, once you lay that thing in there, you can lay the aluminum rod as well and mark out where you want that to be, both on the axe itself and also on the wooden dowel so you know where to, uh, to make your hole. Um, so right here, I'm just marking out that's exactly where I want that aluminum rod to go. And this, I'm gonna do a V cut that doesn't go all the way through uh, because it won't be concealed. So <clears throat> I'm just taking out some of the material, like a back cut, I'm just taking out some of the material. And right here you can see. So um, I'm marking the dowel so I know exactly where I want that uh, aluminum rod to go. I'm gonna take my drill motor and make sure that I don't drill a hole through my island there. I'm actually in the kitchen. Usually I'm in my garage, but uh, the boys were helping me, so we were doing this inside the house for the most part. Um, so that is done. Aluminum rod now is through the wooden dowel, and there's my dude handing me those different template pieces, uh, or trim pieces. <laughs> He's being funny. Um, so you'll be able to see the handle goes like that. The wooden dowel uh, fits in there real nice. The aluminum rod fits inside of the back cut and the other piece slaps right on top. That's where that trim piece is gonna go and the bar over the top so you won't see uh, any of that inner workings of the, uh, of the hammer, um, or of the ax, excuse me, on the, on the hammer side or the blade side. So how to glue it. I like this stuff, this Westwood, um, or Weldwood, excuse me, this Weldwood uh, contact cement. That's what I like to use. So I bought it in this like pint size container. Um, so I just grab a thick brush, like a throwaway brush basically, and um, just glue that stuff on there and get it all over. And this takes, um, I think it's like 20 to 30 minutes to start setting up. So after I get this glued, I'm gonna walk away, let it sit for a while, uh, and then come back and start doing this where I'm sticking these pieces together now and just applying pressure to stick them together. And once the stuff sticks together, it does not come apart. That uh, works really great with foam. So a mistake I made is I didn't hit it with the uh, heat gun here. I didn't go over my all my pieces prior to gluing, and so I'm just showing that that this is what you should do before you glue because it's going to seal up all the holes in the foam, and you'll use a lot less glue. I had to do my gluing twice uh, because I made that mistake. So anyway, <laughs> don't do that. Don't be like me. Uh, hit it with the glue with the hot uh, hot the heat gun, and then um, put your your contact cement on it and then go ahead and stick all your trim pieces on and check that out. It looks pretty sweet now that all those pieces are on there and the glue is gonna hold <laughs> correctly. Um, then the last thing to do here is to put these circles on the hammer side. So right there, uh, I'm just giving a quick zip on all the um, corners, the edges to round those edges. And then I'm gonna take my hot glue gun here and glue gun that thing and uh, stick that on the hammer. So this is how I did this little detail on the hammer. Um, I just took my Dremel there and carved some uh, lines in it. You can make those any way you want, but here's what the finished product looks. So after I did my Dremel work, I stuck some runes on the hammer side there. That was just the fall off the cutout pieces from the, the trim. And yeah, thanks for watching. I like that. I put that in there. Uh, so that is the Celtic Wolf Axe.